Admiral Fanchetti, CNO Fellows, Rear Admiral Todd, Naval Station Newport Leadership Triads, future major commanders and command master chiefs, faculty, staff, students, and guests, both in person and online. Welcome to the United States Naval War College, the Navy's home of thought. The Naval War College Distinguished Graduate Leadership Award, established in 1996 by the Naval War College Foundation, honors graduates who have achieved prominent positions in national security. The award recognizes those with senior leadership roles, inspiring career accomplishments, and a commitment to professional military education. Though all notable, I would like to highlight a few past awardees that you may recognize. The Honorable Carlos Del Toro, 78th Secretary of the Navy. Admiral James Sandy Winnefeld, the 9th Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. And General Lori Robinson, former Commander, NORAD, and US Northcom. To present the award, I would like to introduce 59th President of the United States Naval War College, Rear Admiral Daryl Walker. Hey, good morning. Thank you. Please. Hey, good morning. Hey, first off, uh, happy birthday to the United States Air Force, 77 years. Oh. Little known fact, my EA always reminds me that it also is the CIA's birthday, so AKA the agency. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, right, fair enough. CNO, ma'am, uh, truly appreciate you being here today and taking time to come up here to Newport. Uh, I am honestly excited uh, to present the uh, Distinguished Graduate Leadership Award to you today. I'm equally honored to, uh, uh, to, that you chose Newport and the Naval War College Forum uh, to uh, roll out your NAV plan, ma'am. So we are excited about hearing your NAV plan for the Navy. I especially want to welcome the uh, Chief of Chaplains, Rear Admiral Greg Todd. Uh, sure, there, there you are, Greg. Good to see you here. Uh, leadership around the base, as the uh, Chief of Staff stated, and then uh, most importantly, the, uh, our civilian leadership and then the uh, PCOs and PXOs that are here in the audience that you'll get to hear from your senior leader today. So I had the first time, the uh, pleasure of meeting uh, CNO Franchetti on the uh, Joint Staff when she was the Deputy J5, and uh, I was the Vice Chairman's uh, EA, and she, immediately uh, commanded the, uh, the duties as the Deputy J-5, because we would often call down there and say, hey ma'am, you need to come and uh, prep the uh, chairman or the vice chairman for uh, numerous uh, uh, either PCs or DCs, the uh, deputy, uh, deputy uh, 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 meetings at the White House. Needless to say, she was always running hard, uh, and then numerous times it was always, hey ma'am, we need you to change because you're gonna be the plus one for the uh, chairman or the vice chairman, and she would has always had a great attitude, uh, and uh, I know those two gentlemen, uh, General Dumford and General Selva, appreciated all the uh, work that you did there. Now, I know she doesn't want me to read her bio, but I will tell you that she is receiving the uh, Diglow Award today because she is an outstanding war fighter, officer, thinker, and superb leader at all levels. Commanding officer, commanding a ship, the squadron, a strike group, fleet, and now our United States Navy. So, ma'am, and team, please uh, give me a rousing welcome for the 33rd Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti. We're gonna go up here now. We're gonna do a photo. Yeah, it's great to be up here, everybody. All righty. All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is. You're very welcome, ma'am. 